Hey guys, hope all is well. Figured I'd do a little video for you this uh, period to discuss a couple details for the club. Um, this week is a new week of training, so field space is always in question this first week. So we'll figure that out and try to make logistical changes if necessary as we progress. That being said, I want to do a little education thing today about a five second rhythm. Uh, one of our methodologies in the club is to do things within five seconds as much as possible, or if, if not quicker. Um, so that, an example could be the players are all over the field, you know, as they show up, kind of shout out five, four, three. And then all you have to do is reinforce it once. Typically, hey, if they're not in there within five seconds, you know, do it some type of um, reinforcement that, hey, this is important. They get that, get in that time. Once you start get that consistency, kids will be, be there and show up and things will start moving faster. And it's real important that kids start to get a sense that we need to do things faster. Just any time during practice, because if they know we're going, we're thinking faster, it's going to help their mindset of becoming a faster speed with a faster speed of play. And that ultimately that's what we're looking for is players that begin to be able to play at faster speed and, or, you know, your general speed of play. So another idea is when the ball goes out of bounds at any point in practice, you have five seconds to get a new ball in so that they just need to grab the closest ball closest to them and play or coaches have balls ready to go at your feet or hands and you're ready to put it in, okay? But it's sometimes putting on the onus for the kids to get the ball, it makes them move a lot quicker. Um, that's real important. And it also prevents players from my, mentally drifting out of the game. So they're they're focused in the game, you know? So if we can keep that rhythm consistently going, they, you'll find your players, especially your entry level players, will begin to less become less, uh, you know, drawn away from the game and focused in the game of in the field of play what's going on um one idea is not to have players chase the ball to let the, the ball go out of bounds and you, we just get a bunch of balls in there we just got a bunch of new balls come in finally so i'm going to start supplying balls more and more as i get them pumped up and i'll give them out to you guys um last thing is you know if you're a higher level team even even dial it down to four seconds or three seconds of, of that rhythm of play is important just to keep building that mental speed and mindset speed for our players. Um, Throw-ins is a real big swing of the game. When th throw-ins, good ball goes out of bounds, having things people do it kind of quickly and having our players be mentally focused and engaged right away, all of a sudden we're not going on our defensive third, we're up on our attacking third if we just react quickly. Because a lot of times the other teams kind of mentally check out too during throw-in phases. So it's a good time for us to really use that as a tool to go up the field and swing the other way. So anyway, just a quick review about our five-second rhythm. It's a huge part of what we are as a, as a club and our methodology. And I'll continue to use little videos as we progress here, guys. So have a good week and appreciate all you guys do and thankful for all your efforts. Take care.